Part of the reason for this course is that most Catholics are catechized in order to receive the sacraments of initiation. If you're received into the church as a convert, as I was, um, you will be catechized to a sufficient level to be able to receive, to receive baptism, confirmation, first communion. All that for me happened on the same day. For cradle Catholics, well, there's no catechism ready when you're being baptized because you're not ready for it. But there'll be catechism for first communion and confirmation. But basically after that, aside from what you might or might not get in Catholic schools, there's no catechism. So here we are as grown-ups with grown-up sized questions and 13-year-old catechism. It doesn't really match. We need adult level university style catechism to answer the big questions that we have and to satisfy the intellectual needs that we have as Catholics. It's not enough to say, I believe, I believe, I believe. God wants us to use our intellects to figure out what it is we do believe. He wants to wrap our heads around it, to immerse ourselves in it. And so often I think we stay away from it thinking, oh, it's, it's, it's not like science. You can't study it. It's not hard and fast. It's not very deep. You just got to believe it. But no, it's amazingly complex, amazingly rich and rewarding and nourishing. It's a wonderful thing to dive into this. One of the experiences we have in running St. Philip's Seminary is that our seminarians come here and study philosophy and also theology. But the philosophers, when they're first starting, have a series of four courses on the catechism. We take two whole years to go through the catechism in the seminary. You're getting a snapshot of this in one week. Those two years often change the lives of seminarians. They start looking at their faith in a new way and saying, this is fascinating. Why didn't anybody tell me this? This answers so many questions. Why didn't I learn this in all those years in school? I can't answer all those questions about why you didn't learn it, but we can start the process of getting it into our heads now. It is fascinating. It's the most fascinating of subjects there is. So the opportunity to study catechism at this level is a real blessing.